All right, guys. Uh, so, as you guys know, you probably know these guys. They were in the uh, the mock bang I posted earlier, and uh, we're all like, as I mentioned, we're all CS majors or like former CS majors. We're all taking the CS curriculum here, and uh, a lot of you guys were curious about what CS is like at Yale, what STEM is like at Yale, like what's like how competitive is it, what's the what's the workload look like, and so I thought we'd take some time to really dig in deep to what CS is really like at Yale and what we really think of it. So, uh, without any further ado, we will get into this. The porch like mom's not home. I'm home. Tell me why the best things feel so wrong. So nice. Um, well. <laughs> All right, now you take it. There are, there are a lot of paths you can start out with CS. I think, uh, like, a very good one for people who maybe, like, have less experience or, like, want to, like, learn, like, dive in and like kind of like have a survey or like a sampling of a lot of different stuff with CS50. Which um, I'm sure, oh I don't know if you've heard about it, but it's like Harvard and Yale teach it. I think only Harvard and Yale offer it, right? Yeah. yeah. So it's like a really like cool opportunity to like be able to take it here. And, I mean you can talk about that, you took it. Yeah, yeah. I mean it's a... I came into Yale with like a decent amount of CS experience and I wasn't sure whether I should jump straight to the major required classes or maybe just take an intro class to feel it out first. So I decided to take an intro class my first semester, which was CS50 and like I was surprised how like probably close to half of the kids there had never done any programming before. Um, so it was kind of a unique experience where like you really do start from ground, ground zero and kind of build up, uh, which is pretty cool. I mean you start like programming in Scratch, which is something that elementary schoolers do. Uh, it's like puzzle pieces, and by the end of the semester, you're building your own front-end, back-end database of a website, and it's just like, it's crazy the transformation you make. And then it really gives you kind of a nice basis to like know what CS really is, whereas you're not just starting out with like boring, object-oriented, like just dry content. You're actually saying like, hey, this is what you can do with CS. Now, if you're interested in the major, like you can get more into the theory of stuff in the more harder classes, I guess. My experience is actually quite different from Josh's and I don't know, probably also somewhat different from Nahum and Ryan's because I did absolutely zero CS before I came to Yale and I entirely was studying something else and was taking a lot of classes in my former major which was molecular biochemistry and biophysics so I was taking like chemistry, physics classes and stuff like that so I literally had my first ever experience programming in second semester of freshman year when I took introduction to programming which in contrast to CS50 was very much that dry object oriented stuff that you were talking about it was not that sort of wide ranging or that like it wasn't that it wasn't that flashy and you know trying to make people interested in CS to be honest it was just very straightforward teaching you how to use Java I guess and then like then the next semester which is this semester, um, I took CS math with all of these folks here, and and I'm taking the official introduction to computer science class. Um, I think that even though I had zero experience whatsoever coming in here, and even though for one whole year I thought I was going to major in something entirely unrelated, I still think that the CS major here seems very doable to me and is going well so far with like the three classes that I've taken so far. So I think that's pretty encouraging that you can come in here and even be like a very late starter. Like Josh felt like a late starter having done CS starting like junior year of high school, but I'm starting it like even three years after that. So, yeah. and it's totally fine. And we're still in the same classes. Yeah, we're still yeah. in the same classes. We're, we're still doing, we're both doing fine. We're both on track to like graduate out of here. <laughs> like a reasonable, you know, at a reasonable level of experience. So, Seven year plan. Yeah. I don't yeah. <laughs> I don't know. And also like the type of programming you would teach yourself is like I don't know, very like project oriented, like, oh I wanna build a website, let's learn this, or I, I like wanna build like a game on my computer or something and you like learn Java or something to do that. Um, whereas the CS classes at Yale apart from CS fifty are very theory based. Like uh, she was talking Malik was talking about CS two oh one, which is like a class entirely in a functional programming language where there's no iteration, everything's recursion, and I don't know, it's, and now we're, like I was in a data structures class this semester, which was purely based on the theory of data structures, so I don't know, it's different. Yeah, I actually think that's a great experience, like, because I'm also 
Josh and I both have this job on campus where we're learning how to like be web developers and we're learning how to make applications Ruby, Ruby on Rails and stuff. And like the experience of that, which is super <coughs> practically oriented, is very different from. It was all like, for you. <coughs> <laughs> yeah, this semester I took a class about cybersecurity with one of the other teachers who teaches one of the intro classes. And that one was interesting because it wasn't as much coding, but you learned about real world cases of when computer science was used in regards to security and like crypto analysis. And I would say that the CS department has a lot of different classes for people who don't want to code either, so yeah. in that regard, it's good. Like I'm taking, I'm taking a law class that falls under the CS domain this semester, where it just talks about law and technology and like the ethics of like copyright and fair use and all that stuff. Yeah, and next semester there's a class about cybersecurity and like the law implications about it too. So you can take like CS50 and get a basic understanding of computer science and like know how some of these things work, and then you can take these other classes to really do like the other aspects of computer science. Yeah, because yeah. at the end of the day, it's not all programming. So there's one math class that is required for the CS. So I guess I should talk about like what the CS major actually consists of. So uh, at Yale, it's five major required classes. Then you have six electives and then a senior project. So the five major required classes, you start off with like uh, an intro functional programming class, then you move on to data structures, and then there's a systems programming class. And those are like your hardcore like programming classes. And then like kind of the sidetrack, you take a discrete math class and then use all that math and proof knowledge that you learned in the discrete math class to apply that to an algorithms class the next semester, like maybe two semesters afterwards. And then you kind of get to explore whatever electives you're interested in and finish off your senior year with the project. I mean, there's definitely complaints that, um, so I'm also on like the advisory committee to the Dean of Science and QR. And we talk a lot about like obviously the different STEM departments here at Yale. So I guess there's complaints that there's not enough electives offered, etc. But I have to say that CS, as opposed to many of the other STEM departments here, does a much better job. Um, not only in like, you know, not having these issues in the first place, but also in addressing them when they arise. Like, the CS department here is pretty proactive. They have by far the most proactive departmental student advisory committee stuff like that, so I think that in the CS department you will definitely have your concerns heard and addressed. Awesome. Yeah. I feel like the CS professors are always trying to create new courses for their students. Yeah, yeah. CS yeah. is always growing and I feel like the major like grows and changes. Like the core I think will stay the CS same. is like one of the like three most popular majors here. I think yeah, I think it may be number three or number four. Yeah, yeah. yeah. number three. Which at a liberal arts school, like a, ma a majority like liberal arts school is wild. Mm -hmm. I feel like isn't that the case among like all Ivies where CS is like top three now? Yeah, yeah. I mean, maybe. Yeah. I think that it's probably. Sense. I think it's trailing behind MCDB, which is molecular. No. Yes, no. I think MCDBs are big. Really? No. Yeah, look at the other things. Econ, 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 and econ and history. history. Yeah. I think it's yeah. Econ history than CS. I think. Yeah. Maybe MCDB is the biggest STEM major. Yeah. I think that maybe. Might be I guess yeah. Yeah, and there's also like a lot of like groups and stuff that like what like can help you um there's like yoga computer society and they have like talks and stuff yeah. rides on that um where like they bring people in from like various companies and they have like workshops where like you can like like learn i guess like interview prep for like jobs and stuff or you can go to like ha there's like a hackathon where um you like stay there for a couple days and um try and like create something and there's like people from different companies um just like walking around like helping you out with like uh, whatever you're working on. So there's like a lot of ways to gain exposure and I feel like CS can be daunting because like there's always going to be someone who knows like so much more than you and like is so much better than you but you just have to like stay committed that like if you like what you're doing like you'll get better at it and like things will like pan out. Yeah and in general in terms of like curves and stuff uh, the CS department is pretty pretty generous I'd say but like almost every CS class is like curved to fit the like the CS uh, grade distributions, like the department-wide grade distributions. So like honestly, like a lot of people like, <laughs> I ended up, I think I pulled a 62 out of 100 on my CS223 final exam last week, which you guys probably hear and you're like, oh my God, that's that's horrible, right? That's 62, that's like, that's like a D. But uh, then you compare that to the grade distributions where like the average was like a 64 or 66 or something, I don't remember, where I'm just slightly below median, you know? 
uh, which like isn't that bad, you know? So you end up like, rather than worrying about like what your actual grade number is, like it's in high school, like almost every class here is curved or fit to like fit to a certain distribution. So like, honestly, the only thing I compare myself now is median, I guess, just like where I am compared to like everyone else, because that's the only thing that matters. That's the only thing that's actually gonna determine your grades, so. All right, so uh, I guess a big part of like being a CS student is possibly having the opportunity to get a software engineering or a like maybe cybersecurity programming in a like internship over the summer. Um, and Yale obviously has a lot of great opportunities to do that. I remember just a couple months ago, me and Nahome trekked over to the Omni Hotel for like the, the STEM recruiting fair. And they had, they had people there from like all the big companies, Google, Facebook, Microsoft, Palantir, and you could literally just get to talk, sit there, talk to recruiters, talk to people that have experience working at that company and really um, hand, hand them your resume and possibly get an interview. And there's a lot of cool opportunities like that. Um, you want to talk about the, you're talking about the Yale Computer Society, don't they have a lot of... Yeah, so I was on the team that like establishes contact with recruiters and you try to bring them in and they had, like last semester we had Bloomberg over and they kind of did an info session about what a Bloomberg interview might be like and they kind of helped you prep for it and we do that throughout the semester and because CS at Yale is continuing to grow at almost an exponential rate, YCS is there to kind of help the community and as Nahom explained earlier, host all of these events for students interested in CS. Yes. One final question, we'll get into the deep stuff. At the end of the day, what do we like, a lot of people ask me, why are you studying engineering at a liberal arts school? Like if you wanted to do computer science or electrical engineering, why, did, why are you not at Georgia Tech right now? They're like top ranked in the country. Um, so I think it's very important to like maybe talk about like how CS not only is like a great program at Yale, but how the blend with liberal arts really makes it just something unique and that's something you're not gonna get at any other school. Um, because like, like I said, the CS requirements, like you have to take 36 credits to graduate from Yale. Um, the CS major is only 12. Um, so you have, other than like your distributional requirements, you have about, I don't know, 14 to 16 other credits just to like literally take whatever you want. Which is something that, I don't know, you wouldn't get at like a straight STEM engineering school. Yeah, I can speak to this because I'm double majoring CS and German studies, which obviously has nothing to do with CS. Um, I think that, and also since I was majoring in something entirely different when I came here. So, I mean, the, the primary reason I came here at all was because it's like Yale's giving me financial aid and it's affordable for me. But I really do appreciate the fact that this is a liberal arts school now that, now that I am here, now that I get to experience that. Like, I got to think, I, I came in here with like this very really typical, like, I guess this is a typical mindset of people from India especially is very career oriented, very hyper focused on like one field so I was like I'm gonna come here, I'm gonna study like biochemistry or whatever really hard and then I'm gonna go out and either be a researcher or be a doctor or something like that. But then I started taking like other classes, I started out taking like a couple of German classes just to complete my distribution requir requirements and then I realized oh this is actually just like like fun and cool and I'd be happy to continue with this and kind of the same thing happened with CS and now that kind of became actually my primary focus and my primary interest. So I gotta say the liberal arts experience was was was, was pretty great. Yeah, um, I mean like it seems like like a no brainer, like why would you go to like a place like this if you want to do CS? Um, or like electrical engineering or like mechanical engineering, whatever, like they don't really seem like they go hand in hand, you know, like a lot of times, at least for me, like as like a STEM major, I feel like I find myself a lot, like seeing like, oh wow, like I feel like I'm kind of, or at least you can feel alone if you don't like establish like a network of people, but I think just like black and white, if you're like trying to look at like, if you're trying to justify like, okay, like I want to be like a software engineer when I graduate and stuff like that. How am I gonna like go to the school that like maximizes my chances of like getting a good like internship or like doing whatever like it's like the best ranked school that will like help me along the way. Um, personally, like that was never really like a consideration for me. Like I um, well, first I like to like hear there's no um, there's no like school of like school of like arts or like school of engineering. It's just like one student body who can choose to pursue whatever they want. Um, like when I like decided to come here, a lot of people were like, oh, like why don't you go to MIT? Like they're like really good or whatever. And like obviously I thought about it and stuff like that, but um, 
there I think ECS is like the most common major out of like all majors. I could be mistaken. And I think in terms of diversity of experience, being in a place where like you might be like a smaller amount, even then we're like what, like number three, like the biggest major. So that's not really a problem, but you know, there's a lot of different stuff you can do here. And like the liberal arts uh, curriculum is definitely nice in that you become like a more well-rounded student. Um, and like you have to take language, which isn't like a requirement in many places. And it can be like a nuisance, I guess, but like it's also like really cool that you would like have to take language. You have to take like humanities classes, writing classes. Like last semester, I took a class where like we wrote it was called writing about food, and we like <laughs> ate cheese and like went to rest a, or, like a restaurant and like watched food movies. Um, so you're not going to be like lacking anything um, by coming here for CS. There's still like a big support system. We're growing, um, and you're going to have like a breadth of experience with like a lot of different classes, being around a, li a lot of different types of people, like arts majors or like history majors or whatever, and like that's really cool to be around a lot of different kinds of stuff. And um, career-wise, like you'll do fine, people in turn to like Google, Facebook, um, all that stuff, and like they still come here and recruit. Uh, so like in turn, like there's no, I really don't think, unless maybe you're like hyper-focused and like really just have like your whole life set out for you and know exactly what you want to do and anything outside of that, like academically or otherwise, it's just like an inconvenience. Maybe like feels not the school for you, but I think for people who want like a well-rounded experience, but like also want to like gain a lot of tangible skills in a lot of fields, especially like the one they're doing in this case, CS. Like it's definitely like a good spot to be at. Yeah, and Yale is becoming a better CS school as time passes. Like obviously they're recognizing the growth of the major as you guys mentioned, and like the need for. Um, good opportunities and facilities and everything like that and I think for instance now soon part of the thing that the committee on science and QR was working on was having better like better resources for job applications and tech recruiting for CS students, tech people specifically. Soon there's going to be um, people hired at the Office of Career Strategy specifically to help with tech and specifically to help students prepare for tech interviews and do mock interviews and stuff like that. So it's, it's, it's adapting to the needs of students and it's definitely getting better. Um, and it's not that, it's definitely not bad at all to begin with. Like you look, even if you just look at like numbers and rankings, Yale really doesn't rank as low as like you would picture it to if you yeah. just think of it as like Oh, it's an art school. I think Yale CS is still like top ten or top twenty. Oh yeah, it actually yeah. is. And yeah. I was, I was like, when I was thinking about, for instance, research opportunities for the summer, I can apply to grants that give me the mobility to go conduct research anywhere. So I was looking at, all right, where is the most interesting stuff happening? Um, there's a lot of cool stuff happening here. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of cool stuff happening here, and like this seems to be the consensus not just from students here not just from people who are biased towards this university but from um, outside observers as well yeah um yeah adding on to that in terms of like a shortcoming um i'd say like the career office i actually didn't go there this year but last year i like i remember going and um like asking i guess about like advice like for my resume and stuff like if i want to apply to tech companies and it was like kind of sparse but um there, that's also just like one avenue to like go through. Like I had, or like Josh and I, like one of our friends was like offering mock interviews for us and was like telling us what like books to get and stuff like that for interviews. So they're like establishing the infrastructure like within the university, but it's still like very present. Um, so like you will be prepared for whatever interviews and stuff you have to do. All right guys, uh, that's about it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed a little peek into what computer science and what starting computer science is like at Yale um, from the, the people that are doing it. So, um, with that, let me know what you thought. And, uh, you guys